60-second economics comparing perfect competition with the monopolistic outcome. Now, perfect competition and pure monopoly stand at the opposite ends of the spectrum regarding economic efficiency. Perfect competition, widely regarded as the benchmark for allocative and productive efficiency, whereas monopoly is typically, although not always, associated with resource misallocation and a welfare loss. With perfect competition, in the long run, firms produce where price equals marginal cost. That's point B in this diagram. And this means the value consumers place on the last unit produced equals the cost of supplying it. And in this situation, total economic welfare, which is the combination of consumer and producer surplus, is maximised. Whereas with monopoly, they tend to restrict output to Q1 to maximise profit, setting a price well above marginal cost. And this leads to a deadweight welfare loss equal to area A, B, C, uh, a net loss of welfare because beneficial trades, where people's valuation exceeds the production cost, simply don't happen. Output is lower than the competitive equilibrium. With perfect competition, intense competitive pressure forces firms to supply the minimum average cost in the long run. This achieves productive efficiency. Cost inefficient firms are driven out of the market. Whereas with monopoly, the absence of day-to-day -day competition, uh, a monopolist is not forced to produce a minimum ATC, they're price makers, not price takers, and additionally, they may suffer from X inefficiency, organisational slack and waste due to a lack of competitive incentives to control costs.